Choose up what thoughts you will take into this new year. Choose up what emotions you will take into this new year. Choose up what habits you will take into this new year. Choose up what people will you take into this new year. So this idea of we live on the river of time and the idea of choose up is that the choices you make determine the life of you, that you experience. Everything that happens to you is a result of your choices. And you see, even when you do nothing, that's a choice. So when we think about choose up, what can I do to give myself the best opportunity to make this year my year for outrageous success? That's the question. What can I do to make this year my year for outrageous success? So let's start with the second affirmation. And this, of course, is the 12 Affirmations to Live by poster. And anytime people email me and email me, herbert at herbertharris.com. And I send two things to you for free. I send a 12 Affirmations to Live by poster and I send a Setting and Achieving Your Goals booklet to help you get set up for the new year. Affirmation number two is this. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Let's say that together. I believe in myself. And say it with passion. I believe in myself. This is a choice. Many of us have been raised in environments of criticism, doubt. You know, the first three words we learn as a child are no, stop, and don't, and then shut up. And so we basically come out of a, a constrictive, almost negative framework, which was necessary to give us some guardrails for living. You know, don't touch the stove, because if you do, you will get burned. But what can we do now, at this date, as we are 10 days into the new year, and we want to make sure that we're on the right path? And so that's step one, to believe in yourself, to believe that you have everything you need to get anything you want, to believe that you can be what you want to be, do what you want to do, and have anything you desire. Good morning, Andre and Kyle. Thanks for joining us. So that's step one. You've got to believe in yourself. And with that now, that rock-solid belief in yourself, you now enter upon the river of time. So how do we navigate the river of time? We are a boat on the river of time. And we have four elements on that boat. And it is these four elements that we want to choose up. The first element on your boat is your rudder. Your rudder is your core values, the things that you represent. Your rudder is the value of honesty. <laughs> that thing of honesty in everything you do. Your rudder can be the value of truthfulness, to tell the truth in, in dealing with other people. Your rudder can be the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So your, your rudder is your core belief system. I will not lie, cheat, or steal. These are the kind of things that was that the Boy Scout uh, oath. And these core values are critical because it is these core values that form the foundation for your decisions. You notice how there are people that when they come to your house, you watch them because you know that they're a thief. There are people that when you tell them something, you want to verify it because you know that they're a liar. And so you want to be known as a person who you always bring yourself to the party and your value system defines who you are. So when someone says, I will get something done, you can count on that. When someone tells you a fact, you know it's true. You can count on that. When a person gets involved in a relationship, you know they're going to be righteous. You can count on that. 
So your core values, that's number one. Positive core values and the guiding light is really the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. In interacting with the world, if you would not like it done to you, do not do it unto anybody else. So your core values. Choose up those core values that will serve you and create trust for you and belief and confidence. Second, you need an engine. Your boat must have an engine. I, I live near the river. One of my favorite places to eat is Elijah's down by the Cape Fear River. And as I sit there, I, I, I love having dinner there mm, around 536 because you have the sunset. It faces the west. But you see the river, and the river, it, it, we're only about seven or eight miles up from the ocean, so the river moves. It's a rapidly moving river. Sometimes it looks like it's flowing in both ways. But the river is always moving. And so your boat is on that river. Your engine is that thing that will give you power and direction regardless of what currents are flowing. Whether the river is flowing north or flowing south, your engine is your level of desire. Do you want it badly enough? Are you willing to do whatever it takes to get what you want? Will you work hard enough? When the obstacles appear, when the roadblocks appear, when the disappointments appear, will you keep going? You see, your desire must be so deep that nothing and no one can stop you. Desire must have an objective, though. You can't just, I desire. You have to desire something. And that's where your goals come in. So your desire and your goals work together. When you want to be, do, and have something, you have to have a deep desire, a burning desire to get it done. And it is that desire that keeps you going. So when Tyler, play, Tyler Perry's first plays, were bombs, <laughs> and he had to choose between paying the rent and putting on, a, putting on another production. He said, let me go at it one more time. He slept in his car. That's desire. You see, most people don't desire badly enough. So if you're going to make this year your year for incredible, incredible success, you must be clear about what success is, your goals, your vision, and then you must want it badly so badly that your mantra is only success. Only success. Say that together. Write it in the chat. Write it in your consciousness. Only success. Tefani, thank you. Andrea, thank you. So now, you have your rudder, your value system, you have your desire based on something you want to be, do, and have. A goal, a vision for yourself. Then you have a crew. Choose up your crew. Because your crew can undermine everything you're doing. Your engine can be taking you north and your crew can be rowing south and you end up going in circles. You can have one crew, one, your left crew wants to row one way and your right crew wants to row another and you end up going in circles. So your crew, the people that you permit to be a part of your journey this year should be people who love you. Not only that, should be people who respect you. Not only that, should be people who are excited about your success. You should surround yourself with encouraging people. Let me tell you something, folks. If there's one thing that's really critical is who you permit to come on your ship, on your boat. When you permit negative people to come on your boat, critical people to come on your boat, in those moments when you have to make important decisions, when they add their negative input, when they add that you can't do it, when they add that nobody else has ever done it, when they add that, who do you think you are? Your mom wasn't, your dad wasn't, nobody else did, so why do you think you can? You can recover, but it hurts. 
and it impacts you. Even when they apologize. You know, we tell the story of a, there was a young man who was very brash and he, he, he said things that hurt people. Just he spoke without thinking at all. And then afterwards he would think about it, he would come back and he would apologize. Good morning, Hezekiah. Thanks for joining us. He would come back and apologize. And he thought that that made everything okay. So one day his dad told him, he said, listen. He says, every time you say something hurtful to somebody, every time you discourage somebody, every time you're mean to somebody, go out and put a nail in the tree. Beautiful oak tree out front. And he said, now when you apologize, go and pull that nail out. And the young man did. And the dad said, now, what do you see? The hole was still in the tree. So when you surround yourself with negative people, you may be able to neutralize it and overcome it, but the hole is in your soul. That doubt, that negativity can slow you down just that one millisecond that can mean the difference between life and death. A friend had a wreck. And the wreck was bad. I know it was caused because another person was in the car yapping and talking and talking. And just that moment of just saying, shut up, was just enough to miss the turn and hit a car. Hmm? So your crew is critical. Pick, pick people who you're excited about seeing. <laughs> you know, sometimes you say, well, who's going to... There are people that when they walk in the room, you're like, man, I'm glad to see you. Wow, I'm happy to see you. My good, my, my classmate, Lundy, when I see him, I'm always, man, I'm glad to see you. Man, I'm super proud of you. So many of you that I know very personally, everyone on this call today, I'm happy to see you when you come into my life. So surround yourself with people who love you and who you are happy to see, who encourage you, who lift you up, who help you fly. And finally, the third, the fourth element, your sails. You see, the sails are there to propel the ship when the winds are right. <laughs> so, as they say, when the wind behind my back, I can do anything. Well, the sails are your attitude. When you adjust the sails, they adjust the sails on the ship to give the ship the maximum velocity forward. I often wonder, how do you sail a ship when the wind is blowing against you? You set the sails a certain kind of way. You Maybe when the wind's blowing against you, you can't go in a straight path. You can go on the, a circular path, though, using the wind to push you a certain kind of way. Hmm? So your attitude, your attitude is that thing that says you can look at lemons and make lemonade. You look at a failure and a disappointment and you can say, this must be for a good purpose so that I can learn to do something. Winston Churchill said, success is moving from failure to failure without losing your enthusiasm. So your attitude is critical. Your attitude will determine your altitude. Your attitude is important, but your attitude will determine your altitude. There are a lot of smart people that can't make it to the top because they have a bad attitude. So this day, the 10th day of this first month of the year, I wanted to deliver this message to you because you are on the river of time. That you have no choice about. When you were born, you were born onto the river of time. You have a boat that is your physical and mental and spiritual being, your body. And that boat will move. It will move either by the currents of the river or by the choices that you make. So this day, choose values that are good values based on the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. 
Have a deep desire, that engine that drives you. A deep desire based on clarity of goals, clarity of purpose. Where your vision is so clear, you can taste it, smell it, feel it. Surround yourself with people who loved you, who lift you up, who you're excited about seeing, who bring that feeling to you that you can do it. Surround yourself with people who encourage you. And then develop your sales. Develop a, an attitude of gratitude. I'll say that again. An attitude of gratitude. Oprah says, whatever you're grateful for, you'll get more of. So, you may be disappointed that you didn't make your goals, but you did get halfway there, so be grateful. Sometimes you, the only thing you, you can think of to be grateful about is to be alive, or well, hallelujah. Trust me, anybody out there in the graveyard, they'll say, hey, one more day. Hmm? So always be grateful. Be grateful for life. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for your health. And of course, you know, the attitude of gratitude pumps, primes the pump of abundance to bring you more of whatever you desire. Always knowing that the best is yet to come. So thank you so much this morning for being here. Thank you for listening to this message. I hope that it becomes a blessing to you to help lift you up and take you where you want to be. I invite you to visit our website, herbertharris.com. You can see a link there to get an autographed copy of our book, The 12 Universal Laws of Success. You can see a link there for the Success Toolbox. This year we have a group, a, a, a crew, a group that's moving along who bought the Success Toolbox, who are putting it to work. But whatever you do, visit our website, herbertharris.com. Get your success toolbox. And if you desire also a 12 affirmation poster and a setting and achieving your goals booklet, email me at herbert at herbertharris.com and I'll send you the free poster and the free setting and achieving your goals booklet. So thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate you in every way. We know this, that you can be what you want to be, do what you want to do and have anything you desire always knowing that the best is yet to come. And so it is.